Welcome to this guided journey on working with granite corral resource types. These resource types allow you to build components and dialogues within the um, author instance that an author can use to set various values within a component. So for example, an author can open up a dialogue that may contain several text fields. In this case, the, the full the full name is Granite UI Components Coral Foundation Form Text Field, and then enter in data into that, and then that, those values would show up in the component or be used somehow in the component. Sometimes they just might be written out component. Sometimes they might be sent to a Java backend where some business logic can process the values and so forth. With that, Granite resource types or Granite um, Coral resource types, we have a rich set of APIs that we can use. You can find the full um, set in our Granite API reference, and I'll show that in a second. For the sake of this guided journey, we're gonna cover these um, resource types. We're gonna cover text field, text area, checkbox, path browser, select, date pick, and then multi-field. Um, radio isn't going to be shown in this video. So the key takeaways of this um, guided journey is we're going to show you how to work with these um, granite um, coral types so you feel comfortable building your own your own uh, components using these types. We're going to show you how to read these um, coral types using HTML syntax. We're going to uh, share to read these data types using Sling models. And then finally, we're going to show you to work with these resource types in a multi-field. So here we're in the uh, reference material for the granite types. So we scroll down. We can see um, we have the granite UI touch API documentation. So we click on that. It's going to take us to the full set. So the, in this video, we're using just a small subset of the uh, different data types so they're typically found under the um, form section here and then we scroll down we can see the types we're going to be using in today's guided journey so we can see that we're going to be working with a um, text area for example a text field we're going to be working with a multi field a date picker and a checkbox so for example, if we open up the checkbox documentation here, or reference material, we can read all about its different properties and so forth. So when working with granite types, strongly recommend that you look at the uh, reference material.